Good afternoon, folks. We're going to hit a critical aspect of the magnetic pole shift here, putting in its larger context of biosphere impact. So to begin, there are now plenty of studies in agreement that geomagnetic excursions, rapid magnetic pole shifts like the one we're in now, are very deadly. They cause extinctions and major havoc for the biosphere overall. And they focus on the ozone destruction from solar particles and cosmic rays, the extra radiation directly impacting the surface from those same things, the climatological effects of both the ozone loss and extra radiation, and the volcanic upticks that seem to match the cycle timing. For those new to this topic, look right below the video for the homework. I'm going to put three critical videos in there, and if you haven't seen them, it is fairly imperative that you do so. But there is an aspect of this that most studies are missing. In addition to all of these, which absolutely do make Earth more dangerous of a place for all living creatures during the pole shift, there's another one that likely plays a key role, and that is the food chain disruption from navigational disruptions in species that use Earth's magnetic field for migration, foraging, breeding, and for fleeing predators. We have already seen several studies and real-world examples of creatures starting to have trouble, and we're only about 25 to 33 percent of the way into this event. This morning, we got yet another example, and it had been hypothesized before. The Atlantic herring juveniles make a preposterously long and challenging migration soon after birth, and now they are not only certain that they have a magnetic compass, but they are nailing down how it works in fish and how it differs from the magnetoreception in birds. Complementing this new study, did you guys hear about the rare sunfish species that has been washing up on the Pacific coast of North America? Yeah, this species is supposed to only inhabit the southern hemisphere. They are way off course. Noteworthy is that their beaching positions are the exact same distance from the magnetic north pole now as their normal location is to where the magnetic pole was 100 years ago. Folks, while the official mainstream science calls these magnetic excursions dangerous, I would like to submit that the navigational issues are part of that story in addition to the radiation and climatological and volcanic issues. I propose that it's actually hard to disagree with that conclusion. Don't forget, not only do all of these things either directly or indirectly impact humans as well, but our electrified way of life is on the chopping block. As the magnetic field weakens, it is taking less and less solar activity to cause the same levels of geomagnetic storm conditions. Eventually, the sun is going to EMP our entire planet, and we're back in the Stone Age. I hope this was easy to understand. I hope you agree with my argument that magnetic navigation has a place in that discussion. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.